hello friends welcome back to our channel mirror neuron which means watch and learn and uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, data scientists at investment banks okay so we'll talk a little bit about the challenges the opportunities and um, what you can learn to get into a, an investment bank as a data scientist so we'll be discussing somewhat around uh, this kind of things so that you get some uh, rough idea that uh, you know how to prepare to get into a data science role for an investment bank so first uh, you know in order to get into a data science role we should also know what kind of people um, you know work for an investment bank uh, so we are broadly going to classify them as uh, first of all people who are traders right typically they are people also uh, commonly known as uh, market makers right and uh, they are the people who have very good in-depth knowledge of investment and all those uh, financial things right and uh, uh, they probably also have very good uh, analytical mindset and stuff but the problem is they do not have uh, enough programming experience uh, to actually develop some tools and uh, or maybe take it to an like an auto deployment kind of thing right they are like very good uh, business people and they also use data science to a great extent but not using programming right they probably are good with say excel or something uh, and they are comfortable with that but i'm not going to say that they have a very good technical background these are the one kind of people then there are a second type of people who are like basically technologists like people like you and me who knows a lot about uh, programming, how to develop uh, REST APIs, and how to deploy uh, products in uh, you know the server and stuff. Uh, but the problem is, you know, we might also know a little bit of uh, statistics and so on. But uh, we are not from the business background, and that could be one challenge for people like uh, who are typically a technology person. You can, of course, uh, see from this perspective that you know uh, how to use a saw and a chisel and stuff, but you don't know the art of making furniture, <laughs> exactly like that. Uh, so these are the second type of people who works for uh, investment banks. And the third part, or the third kind of people who are the perfect fit uh, at investment banks are the people who have the, also known as quantitative, uh, quantitative analysts right they are the people who are like perfectly fit for a data science role at investment banks because they are the people who not only knows how to form an experiment ask the right questions to the data and also not only that they can also fetch the data prepare some tools or prepare some model they can independently do uh, you know the end-to-end -end delivery of a machine learning or a data science product uh, at the investment bank and investment bank typically hire this kind of people if you are really really good at this you can also google uh, or google search uh, these kind of terms you'll get to know what are the skill sets required to become a quantitative analyst i'll try to put some courses and links in the description section so that it makes it easier for you to learn more about it and prepare yourself for the investment bank uh, but the, these are the three different types of people uh, typically would uh, prefer to work as a data science uh, scientist at the investment bank now these are uh, the you know on a high level the kind of people they are working but the challenges that typically these people would face uh, typically would be the data quality you know they should have an understanding of what the data quality is right and the second thing would be is you know uh, how do you model or write codes to convert your questions into a uh, you know technically possible application right that's the second thing uh, you'd be facing a challenge but these are not a big challenge which you cannot learn a typical you can definitely learn all these things uh, in a matter of few weeks right however i would like to also say that these are actually very challenging uh, job positions but highly highly rewarding as well okay so what you might want to do is you know you want to see do research and uh, you know try to become a quantitative analyst you probably have to be good with uh, sql for data science there is one course i highly recommend for becoming a 
quantitative analysts uh, and using data science in at your job so i'll put a link in the description section um, so also another challenge is uh, typically you are highly paid also because you are going to spend 11 to 12 hours you know 11 to 12 hours at the office so don't shy away from that uh, you know even in other companies we do spend 10 to 11 hours working but uh, at investment bank typically you'll work you'll be working an hour or, or two more all right so i hope uh, this gives you a very simple but a high level understanding of uh, what data science people do and what kind of people are getting hired uh, who are given more preferences are the quantitative analysts uh, in a data science role for at the investment bank so i hope you have found something new today and let me know what you think about it